Yo, what's cracking, everyone? Eric Ship Triple One here, and we are back with another episode of Hidden Secrets, Easter Eggs, and Glitches on Forza Horizon 5. So, for those who are new to my channel and don't know what this series is, well, this is a series where you, the subscribers, send me interesting things that you have found in Forza Horizon 5, and the ones which are the most unique and haven't yet been showcased on my channel will get a chance of being featured in a future episode. To send me the things that you have found, you can either write them down in the comment section below or direct messaging them to me through Instagram, Twitter or Xbox, either by describing it or in video form. Please just make sure that it is in the best quality possible so it can be included in a future video. All of the links will be down in the description below. So without further ado, here are five new secrets, easter eggs and glitches that were recently discovered in Forza Horizon 5. Starting off with number one, rally game or pace notes easter eggs. Now, as most of you know, Playground Games do like to put in certain Easter eggs in some of their vehicles, car mastery perks. For example, with the Toyota AE86, it's no secret that the names of some of these perks obviously reference the popular manga or anime of Initial D, or even the Porsche 911 GT2 RS, where one of its perks references the reveal of Forza Motorsport 7 back at E3. It's very cool, and we have showcased quite a few of them throughout this series, but here is one that I certainly didn't expect, considering that it was a car that has already been featured back in Forza Horizon 4, and that is the Audi Sport Quattro. As you can see, many of the perks are pace notes that you would hear from a rally co-driver, and of course, depending on which rally game you play, Playground Games could very well be referring to any of them too. The Overcrest Jump Maybe, Right One Titans, and To Finish really reminds me of the Sega Rally Championship series. Whatever the Easter egg may be, what surprised me was that these perks were completely different to what they were back in Forza Horizon 4, and because I'm just so accustomed to the developers just copying and pasting everything across from one game to another, this was certainly a nice discovery. Anyways, a huge shout out to your old meme 27 from Xbox for sharing this with all of us. Thank you. Number 2, New Flatbed. For those who have played Forza Horizon 4, will know that throughout the lifespan of that title, many different variations of the truck or flatbed were brought in. At launch for the first few months, Playground Games would only have a couple of flatbeds roaming around the United Kingdom, but as more monthly updates were brought in, we began to see more different flatbeds and trucks, including the promotion of the Eliminator at one point, to many others, which is quite a good concept, and it's at least least one way to keep a Horizon game feeling different every month. So with Horizon 5, for the most part since launch, we haven't seen many different variations of the flatbed. I'm just going through all of my recorded gameplay and it's been pretty vanilla with the variations. However, this flatbed has now been spotted a little more frequently now and I'm not sure if this is something that Playground Games recently added. Please, for anyone watching, if you do know the answer to this, let us know down in the comment section below. But yes, I have noticed this flatbed carrying bricks a little more as of late. Anyways, a huge shout out to Clutch from Xbox for sharing this with all of us. Thank you. Number 3. Did anyone notice this? When Forza Horizon 5 first launched, the drag strip was slightly different to how it is today. For the first month, the drag strip actually had drag lights, much like how they were back in Forza Horizon 4. But for whatever reason, they ended up being removed, not just from the map, but also in the intro or splash screen of Horizon 5 2. Now, my speculation was that Playground Games was not able to make the drag lights sync with all players on the map, hence rendering the tree lights essentially useless, so Playground Games just decided to scrap them all together. But one of you subscribers with amazing detective skills noticed that in the Nismo R35 GTR reveal trailer, one of the scenes had the return of the drag lights. Now, this is for sure not confirming drag lights are returning, but more so just the developer's build of the game creating the trailer. So nothing to look too deep into here, but an awesome find and a huge shout out to Apple's Slipper from Twitter for sharing this with all of us. 
Thank you. Number four, faulty tail lights. All car pass owners who just recently collected their 2019 Porsche 911 Speedster will notice something a little buggy about this vehicle. The most obvious one is of course the tail lights. As we can see here, whenever you drive and brake, the only brake lights that work are the ones near the seats. The tail lights do light up as well, but very dimly, therefore isn't noticeable at all unless you are driving at night. The other issue, and I'm not sure if this is specific to me only, but I cannot get the convertible feature working with this Porsche. I can put the roof down, but I can't put it back up. Am I doing something wrong? If so, please let me know, but if it's a bug or a glitch, well, Playground Games, there's two right here that you can fix with the Porsche Speedster. And lastly, number five, update eight, cars confirmed. So Forza Horizon 5 Let's Go Series 7 livestream commenced this past Monday and usually I would cover all the news in regards to the update but unfortunately I was away that day and was out at Mount Panorama enjoying the view and actually driving on the street circuit. So if you want to check out some of the things I do outside of YouTube, follow me on Instagram at ericship I know, it's a cheap plug. So. Anyways, what some of you are not aware is that Playground Games essentially also revealed all the cars for Update 8, as well as Update 7, which is themed around German vehicles. Now, for quite some time now, many within the community have been asking, when are we going to get some new Audis? And well, next month, we're going to have them. So from what we can see, we will be getting the 2018 Audi RS4 Avant, the 2020 Audi RS3 Sedan, and the 2018 Audi RS5 Coupe, which are all vehicles that were found in the hidden folders of Horizon 5 a few months back. Not only that, we will also be getting the new BMW M8 Competition and the Volkswagen Pickup LX, and these cars will be made available through the car pass, and we will also be receiving the Mercedes AMG GT, which honestly, I'm not too excited about, as it is a vehicle that has been featured in previous Horizon and Motorsport titles, but there is one car and I'm most excited for, and I guess I even called this a month back, along with Fastlane Gaming, and that is the brand new 2018 Porsche 911 GT3. My goodness, I love this car, and honestly, both Update 7 and Update 8 look very strong in my opinion. Super happy with it, especially with Update 8, and now hopefully all of you guys watching know what new cars we will be getting for the next couple of months. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to smash the thumbs up button as it really does help me out. And also, if you guys would like to see more Forza Horizon 5 content right here on this channel, make sure to click the subscribe button with notifications turned on. That way you won't ever miss out on another video that goes live. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.